Welcome to Ari Jam 360 Entertainment News. I'm your host, Electra. For this news feature and more things, Ari, download the Ari Jam 360 app for iPhone and Android devices. Follow us on social media. You can also visit arijam.com. In today's stories, fraternity mourns the death of Louis Ranking. Nike steps to reggae. Maxi Priest debuts at number two. Fraternity mourns the death of Louis Ranking. The entertainment fraternity is mourning the death of Louis Rankin, the Jamaican dancehall artist and actor who died on Monday morning in a car crash. Rankin, born Leonard Ford, was in a vehicle that was struck by a transport truck in Ontario. Police say he was pronounced dead at the scene of the accident. He was 61. Louis Rankin, who referred to himself as the original Don Dada, began his recording career in the 80s and found his first commercial success with his 1992 single, Typewriter, which won him a Grammy. As an actor, he appeared in the 1998 film Belly as Ox and also in Shotters with Kimani Marley and Spraga Bands. Among those who posted tributes to Louis Rankin are Spraga Bands, Popcorn, Kimani, Nas, and DJ Khaled. Louis Rankin reprised his role from Belly in DJ Khaled's Nas album Done video. He is survived by his wife and a number of children. Condolences to the family. Nike steps to reggae. Sportswear giant Nike stepped into the beat of Jamaica's reggae music. The company recently released its new line of ear brand of sneakers, inspired by reggae and other genres of music. The new Nike Air Max 270 React line introduces five new color schemes, completely reimagined by five vibrant music genres, hip-hop, heavy metal, reggae, punk rock, and electronic dance music. According to Nike, the reggae style upholds a calm, rhythmic nature with earthy tones like white, green, and tan. Each pair of sneakers costs US $150, and this is not the first time Nike is paying homage to Jamaica and its culture. The brand has a classic Nike Air in the colors of the Jamaican flag. Maxi Priest debuts at number two on the Billboard. Maxi Priest returned to the Billboard Reggae Albums chart after a five-year hiatus with the Shaggy-produced album. It all comes back to love. It enters at number two with reported sales of 150 units. Released on September 20, it has collaborations with Bounty Killer, Estelle, Anthony Hamilton, Noah Powell, and Shaggy. That's our wrap up for today. Thank you for watching Ari Jam 360 Entertainment News. For this news feature and more things, Ari, download the Ari Jam 360 app for iPhone and Android devices. Follow us on social media. You can also visit arijam.com. See you soon.